Brahms is an acronym for Botanical Research and Herbarium Management System and it's a, a database management tool which is used to catalogue plant uh, information about plant species and try to describe and define the diversity of plants globally. The taxonomic work is where you're working on a particular group of plants, maybe a, a family or a genus of plants. So we look at all the different species in that group and bring all the data together and these are then used to help analyse distributions. The other type of work we do is floristic, looking at all the plant species that occur in particular areas. Uh, that might be a large area, such as a country, which would lead to a flora, or it might be a small forest reserve. Um, it could be an area being developed for, by a mining company or to plant sugar for biofuels. And in these cases, we survey and categorise and document all the plant species that occur in these areas. And we can use these data to evaluate their value in terms of conservation status. We work in herbaria, such as this one here, with uh, often many millions of plant specimens. We also work in botanic gardens and to a lesser extent in seed mounds. I've been working with the Brahms project now for 25 years and I've seen it grow from uh, the ability to manage herbarium specimens all the way through to now managing uh, plots, wild plots, DNA samples, plant uses and my particular interest in is how to manage the data that goes along with the seed collections that we make. If you've got good quality data, you can store the data well, you can manage it well, you can question it well, but you can share it well, you can make it available to people that want it at the right time and at the right place, um, then you're doing good business. And that's why we feel that the, the, the type of um, work that the Brahms Project can do is a type of tool that it's developing is so vitally important for our conservation work here at Kew. Through the BBSLC grant, we've uh, developed stronger relationships with Kew Gardens in London and also with the equivalent in the Netherlands, the Naturalis or the National Herbarium of the Netherlands. As a result of BBSLC help, we've managed to get a full-time programmer based at Kew and we've got help also in Leiden in the Netherlands. Brahms has really been more or less freely available to everybody, but we're, we're tightening up on that a bit now so that larger projects are expected to contribute. And both of those things together, the, the extra development support and the increased income, will make the product much more sustainable.